Our scripture reading this morning comes again from the book of Acts. A little bit of an overlap of what we looked at last week. We'll first begin our reading in Acts chapter 22, verse 22. And we'll conclude it in the next chapter, 23, verse 11. So we'll begin in chapter 22, verse 22, ending in chapter 23, verse 11. And as I remind you that this great story, the book of Luke and the book of Acts, it's not just written by Luke, it wasn't just his ideas, but it comes to us as the infallible, inerrant word of the living God under the direction of the Holy Spirit. Let us now give careful attention to this word as it's read in our hearing. Acts chapter 22, beginning in verse 22. Up to this word, they listened to him. Then they raised their voices and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for he should not be allowed to live. And as they were shouting and throwing off their cloaks and flinging dust into the air, the tribune ordered, ordered him to be brought into the barracks, saying that he should be examined by flogging to find out why they were shouting against him like this. But when they had stretched him out for the whips, Paul said to the centurion who was standing by, Is it lawful for you to flog a man who is a Roman citizen and uncondemned? When the centurion heard this, he went to the tribune and said to him, What are you about to do? For this man is a Roman citizen. So the tribune came and said to him, Tell me, are you a Roman citizen? And he said, Yes. The tribune answered, I bought this citizenship for a large sum. Paul said, but I am a citizen by birth. So those who were about to examine him withdrew from him immediately. And the tribune was also afraid, for he realized that Paul was a Roman citizen and that he had bound him. But on the next day, desiring to know the real reason why...